Peterson with Everything Homemade and we are here on the living room floor. These chicks just got here um, only like two kilometers from us. They hatched them out and we are going to ban them. So before I put them in the brooder, now it's not cold in here. They're together. The 10 minutes that they're not underneath the, underneath the heat lamp is not going to hurt them. Um, we're going to do this because I have 60 some other chicks the same age from two other farmers and I don't want to get the breeds mixed up. So this is the best way to band and I've done this a couple of ways but last year I used those round bands. Um, I used the bands that just stick on and then tighten. I hate those. What I found was zip ties work awesome. Easy to cut off, easy to put on, they don't fall off. So with these little ones only being a few days old, I'm going to use small ones. Okay, so these ones are when they get older, they're bigger size, and I just, or I just bought like a whole collection of colors. I'm going to do red because the other ones in the brooder are green already. So simple, take one out. Always have a partner with you, it's easier that way. So Nova's going to grab one, take a look at these, okay? No one's going to grab one. What she's going to do is just hold a foot, hold one out. Can you hold one out? I know when Ocean does it, it helps. So hold it right here, right here gently. And then, I know, little one. And you just slip it on. Okay, so the biggest thing, you don't want them too tight. But you don't want them too small. So what I do, I leave a gap and then I pull down going, can that fall off? Now that's both borderline, so I'm going to make it a little tighter. Now I take a look. Nope, that's not going to fall. And then I cut the end. Make sure you don't get the toes in. And that's a banded chick. Just like that. So as they grow, now every three weeks I'm going to watch these bands. And if they need to get cut off, I'll gently take my scissor and snip it off and put a bigger one on. It's that simple and they don't fall off and everything's okay. It's okay little one. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so in this one goes and we do another one. Okay. And with this having your children or having somebody to help you just makes this job go a lot quicker. But this is banding, and I find just simple twist ties is cheaper, more effective, way easier. Do you want to get a little close up there again, Ocean? Way easier to do. And I keep, I keep trying. You see? I pull, and, and it doesn't fall off. But I always leave room. You never want this right to the toe. Okay. Done. Grab another one. Okay, so we have 50 chicks in here. We've done two, so you can count. So we're on the third one. Oh, I know, I know, right away. You've got buds in the brooder box. 60 of them. So what I did this year, you guys, I just bought from a whole bunch of local farmers, a whole bunch of different breeds, and I'm going to find out what I like. There you go. Another one done. There you go. Yeah, in we go. I'll catch one. So we'll just keep on going, you guys, and have them done, and then I'll show you when we put them in the brooder. Hey, okay, you guys, we're in the um, chicken, duck, guinea, goose house. It's cold outside. It's March, and we are still in winter, so I'm going to feel like I'm yelling at you. This is the brooder right here. So let's take these guys in here. Come here. Oh. Underneath the heat lamp. There's your buddies over there. 
Look at that. Okay, let's close that up, Nova. Go slow then, Nova, yeah. So you guys, this is our burger setup. They have lots and lots of room. The heat lamps, cool areas, food and water. And uh, and now back off to supper, hey Nova? So you guys, thanks for watching. And I hope that helps to teach you how to band so simply, so economically and quickly. Thanks so much for watching.